Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Clone Trooper Officer from the 30th Anniversary Collection. Now, the particular paint release version that we're looking at today is the Clone Captain, uh, but this guy was released in the full range of Officer's Colors. Now, this guy is absolutely awesome, uh, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's got the standard 30th Anniversary Collection packaging, and up here in the corner, you'll notice that the Clone Trooper is blue, um, and that's kind of how all of these were. They had one card back and then a whole bunch of paint variant uh, versions to get all of the officers. Um, on the back, you've got the same kind of thing again, the blue trooper. Um, and then there's a brief description up here in the corner. Of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. And then down here, they've got all of the other figures that were released in this wave. And I've got to say that I'm super nostalgic for this era of Star Wars toys. Um, I just, this is kind of when I really started to get into collecting. So I really like this packaging style. But enough about the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself here. Now, this clone stands at, let's see about three and three quarter inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other three and three quarter inch figures. And he does come with two accessories. The first one here is his blaster rifle. And as you can see, um, it is nicely detailed, but there's no paintwork or anything on there. Um, I kind of wish they had done a dry brush or something. I think it would have really brought out a lot of detail. Uh, but either way, you know, no big deal on there. It does still look really nice in my opinion. The second accessory is this collectible coin. As you can see here, it would have been displayed right here in the package. Um, but this one is the Attack of the Clones version. It's got Anakin, Padme, and Jango uh, Fett right here on the front of the coin. Then whenever you flip it over on the back, it says, um, you know, it's got the Roman numeral 2 on there. Um, pretty cool. Um, you will find, though, that when you buy these, at least in all the paint variants, you'll get a ton of these coins, and they'll always be the same. So just be aware of that. As far as the figure's articulation goes, um, it's really, uh, really well done. This is my favorite version of the clone body. Uh, I think it just, I think it looks the most natural. I think it articulates the best. It, it, it does the best kind of, um, of both worlds. So he's got a ball peg in the head, really nice range of motion. Ball hinge shoulders with an excellent range. He's got hinged elbows with a swivel swivel wrists, and then he's got a, basically a swivel joint and then another one that goes kind of this direction, which allows him pretty good re range of motion there um, in all directions. Then he's got swivel hips. Honestly, this is the biggest limitation of this mold. Um, you don't get the biggest range of motion out of those hips. Then he's got ball hinged knees, excellent range there with a swivel and then hinged ankle. So overall, um, this figure and all of the other paint variant releases are absolutely fantastic. I highly suggest that you track all of them down. I think they really add a lot to any collection. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, hit me up on my social media link down in the description. And I guess I'll see you later.